Now, what do we have here? Well, it appears to be a box for some uh, Bodum Double Walled Latte glasses, which I uh, ordered a little while ago, and I am uh, uh, very happy that I got these. Um, they're a little bit expensive. Uh, this set right here was, uh, it was like 30 or 40 bucks or something like that. So these are not cheap, certainly. I mean, this is something that you buy if you spend a great deal of time, get that out of the back, like if you spend a great deal of time uh, making drinks at home and you know, you want something that looks really cool. And look at that, just looks great. Um, I was a little bit concerned about getting these because lots of complaints online about people saying that they're uh, really, uh, uh, really fragile. They're always breaking. And let's see now, I got them over here, stick keeping warm on top of my espresso machine. And uh, now that I have them, and I'm actually, you know, like I'm able to hold this in my hand, uh, it is, um, uh, it, it's a lot sturdier. It's a lot firmer than I actually thought it was going to be. It feels substantial. I mean, it is not, uh, I mean, they say that the glass is very light and you really can't see in this video all that well, but the, the glass is relatively thin, but at the same time, it feels hefty. You know, it's not, it, it's not a very, very light piece of glass. Um, uh, I do have some concerns about the handle, uh, just because, I mean, it just doesn't look like it's really attached by much. Um, I'm assuming that it is. I'm assuming that it is actually decently sturdy, but I still find myself holding it like this most of the time, which is the biggest advantage to these cups. You can hold even the hottest friggin' drink like this, and it doesn't burn your hand. You don't feel anything. Uh, it feels really great. Um, uh, the other nice thing about it is that drinks, uh, like layered drinks, like lattes or cappuccinos, look wonderful in these things. They really, you know, they, they come out looking really tasty. They come out looking, they, they come out looking like, you know, presentable. Like this is something that you would want to, you know, like show your neighbors and have some fun with. Uh, so I am happy with my glasses. They fit decently well on top of my espresso machine right there. I've got you know, a set of espresso cups right there and another little guy back here for maybe some late night drinks that I don't want to put a whole shitload of espresso in. Um, but I have two of them, they fit there. These are 16 ounce. These, I think I got, see, does it say it on the bottom? No, it doesn't. Um, maybe what, what, the, what the hell are these? Um, uh, uh, they're, they're somewhere, oh, here we are. Uh, they are 15.2 ounces. Okay, so my 16 ounce was a pretty good guess. Uh, they're about 16 ounces, which is a little bit bigger than I usually make uh, my lattes. Uh, my lattes are usually in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 ounces, uh, so it, it fits them pretty well. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I have to admit, I would not have, I, I, I laid out the cash for these just because, as you can tell by my you know, big setup right here, I am, uh, I, I'm a relatively big coffee nerd. Um, so I, I, I figured that, well, what the hell, I've got, you know, pretty much everything else out here, including a banana plant. I've got pretty much everything else out here. I might as well lay out the cash for these. And, uh, um, while, uh, I mean, in, in comparison to other cups out there, these things are, you know, like 15 to 20 bucks each. And that is pretty expensive. I mean, it's, it's, it's obvious that a great deal of design and engineering, they say that they're mouth blown. I don't, I guess that's cool. They've got a little uh, silicone, like little butt plug on the back right here. And apparently this is a valve of some sort and can't really, you, you can kind of see it in this video. They got that little dot right in the middle of the silicone, which is apparently a small valve, which allows air to either go in or go out which results in a, uh, a constantly even pressure on the inside of the cup. Um, so a good deal of design went into this and a very good engineering. It's an attractive cup, but for 20 bucks each, it is, I, I don't think that this is necessarily something that absolutely everyone should kind of like jump on board with. I am happy with the purchase, certainly. Uh, I like it, they look great up here. Um, they, I, once again, they are a little bit bulky, so even on a relatively big espresso machine, I could probably only fit, you know, maybe wedge three of them up there. So if you're doing a lot of parties, uh, I would not recommend something like this. I'd, re I'd recommend something smaller, you know, like a little, I was a little Mikasa uh, 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 porcelain or what is this? Uh, just strong, some kind of strong, fine china. Uh, this um, and the things that I was using beforehand, actually I have one right here, which is a, uh, um, 
this is, I believe, a 12 ounce just stoneware bowl. It's actually a bowl, but you want a bowl shape for lattes. Um, I got this bowl shape at Target. I think these things were, you know, they, they were something insanely cheap. They were like a dollar fifty each. So you could get you you could buy enough of these to give an entire party hot coffee drinks for the price of just one of those guys over there. Um, but like I said, uh, you know, if you have everything else for your coffee setup and you want something that's going to look really good with drinks presented in it and it stops your hands from burning and you know just in general I mean it is a you know a, a good you know a, a good looking cup stupid autofocus come on you can do it there we go it got it um, you know good looking cup I like it um, uh, it's, it, it feels a lot more solid than a lot of the reviews online were complaining about. I don't think, it doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. Uh, it feels nice and solid. The handle might be a little bit dodgy, but other than that, I don't really use it all that often. But even then, I think that if I held it by the handle all the time, it would be safe. The box says that it's safe and everything. You can put it in the microwave, you can put it in the freezer, you can put it in the dishwasher over and over again. Um, so, uh, yeah. Goodbye, I think. Uh, not necessarily, not necessary, certainly. Way too expensive for it to be necessary. But if you decide to uh, drop the same change that I did on these, I think that you'll also be as happy as I am.